Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel. We are doing your November general love reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, as you can see, these are this is a really new deck. I've already had I've only had them for a few days, and I'm still trying to get used to how big they are on my hands. And so, yeah, I apologize if I shuffle way worse than how I used to. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I really am so grateful to each and every one of you. And if you could help me, please leave in the comments down below how I could, you know, communicate or contact someone here on YouTube because I want to give out free, one free, uh, one free reading to a subscriber. So I'm trying to figure that out, how I could contact someone here on YouTube. You know the fool came out in your pre-shuffle? Like it really came out in your pre-shuffle. Hmm. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn, your challenge for this month is the Nine of Wands. So I'm hearing you've been very wounded in the past. That your fences, well, your walls are high up. So you're very guarded with whoever wants to come into your life. You're very guarded. You have dealt with someone who was very, you know, controlling in the relationship. Wasn't the relationship wasn't balanced and you had to move on from it or you're trying to move on from it, all right? But yes, your guards are your guards are up. You're very wounded. When we say we're very wounded, it means you most likely have not really fully healed. Maybe you're in the process of healing, but you're not fully healed. But someone wants to come towards you. Someone wants to come towards you. You have the Two of Cups as your main energy for this reading, Capricorn. So you're dealing, you're, you know, someone's gonna come into your life. This is most likely new love, I'm hearing. This is new love. This is someone you have, I'm hearing you've been waiting for, for so long. This is someone you have a very deep soul connection with. You have a, it's probably soulmate connection or twin flame connection, but there is very deep soul connection here. But this is new love, new love coming towards you. I don't get, I don't feel a sense of past relationships. You're very guarded from that past relationship. From however that past relationship has hurt you, you're, you've become very guarded, all right? This is a new start. Someone wants to come towards you. Someone wants to, you know, offer that cup of love for you. This person has very deep love for you. And they really want to, you know, uh, take that risk to come towards you. Take that leap of faith. And they're hoping you would take that leap of faith with them. But the problem is your challenge. You're very guarded at this time. Someone coming towards you who's very this is this is someone who's very solid and stable, but it took them a while for them to realize that they have to come towards you with an offer. 
it took them a while because you know the this is i'm hearing this is someone who's really thought about whether or not they would really want to offer you if they were worthy enough to offer you that's why it took them it took them a while to make that offer to you but here they are they're coming towards you all right you have the nine of cups i'm hearing actually you are their wish come true and you could be that this you know this person could be your wish come true i'm hearing you've you know you 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 want someone who wants to you know offer you something a very stable and solid commitment and it's coming towards you right now that is your wish and your wish is coming true but i'm hearing you're very stuck you're very anxious regarding this you're a little bit closed off regarding this offer you're still stuck on the past not stuck on the past that you're in love with the person you have most likely moved on but stuck meaning you're afraid uh, that it might happen again <clears throat> getting hurt again you're afraid of that all right so let's see what is the overall outcome what is the overall outcome for this The overall outcome is the wow. All right. The Hierophant, the Sun, and the Star. All right. So, definitely, this is a wish granted. This higher form of commitment. Someone who is going to make you very happy, very abundant, very expansive. This is a wish come true. This is a miracle coming towards you. A miracle. All right. This is a higher form of commitment, which I really love. I really love, all right? I love this reading, Capricorn. Let me know in the comments section down below if this resonates for you. Or just you want to claim this reading, go ahead. Type it down below. What is the advice for my Capricorn? All that, all right not all that like it's like four cards so how many major arcanas you have one two three four five six you have six major arcanas this is definitely major change coming towards you you have the wheel of fortune the lovers the ace of, the page of swords and then the knight of wands all right the advice of spirit for you is you know let timing run its course all in divine timing whatever this is this person who's coming towards you this is someone that the universe really made for you all right but it's all in a matter of divine timing you just have to wait you just have to wait a little bit more for this person to come in, Capricorn. I'm hearing this person is already in your vicinity. Looking at your social media profiles, really spying on you, checking you out. You know? You could be checking this person out. Alright? But the advice here, definitely, it's divine timing. You have to wait. And, you know, you have to be patient about it. I know our timing in our heads can be a little bit off. But the timing of the universe and of God, the timing of God is always perfect. When it comes in, it's in the perfect timing. All right. You have voyage. Voyage. All right. And then, this person might be, you know, traveling towards you. Or this, of course, if should you choose to be in this commitment, it's going to be a really... It's going to be a voyage. Going to be a voyage. Going to be a... 
journey. All right, you have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. It's a confirmation. This is a soulmate you're dealing with. Here's the lover's card. All right. So that is all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next reading. Stay blessed.